Okay, this video is just to, uh, I wasn't going to make any video, but um, then in reflection I thought that the uh, uh, emotion, and I'm not the kind of guy that likes to vlog about emotions or, or act on them too much, but uh, I think it's, I think it might be worthwhile to, to capture this, perhaps in hindsight even, even the most important thing, because it's the moments of doubt that uh, are uh, the most challenging. And also the most revealing. That's why I don't want. That's why I didn't want to hit the start button. <laughs> it's never any fun to encounter, let alone uh, reveal and share weakness. Or maybe weakness isn't the right word. It's more uh, uh, fra fragility, humanity, uh, mor mortality, fallibility, all of those types of things, which. Uh, I'm, I try to be keen to identify and not overcome those necessarily, but learn to live with and uh, reconcile. Because the, uh, the reason I adventure is for challenge and to, uh, to uh, and not for challenge for its own sake, but for the revealing effect that it has in uncovering uh, new territory, landscapes, and new uh, facts about self, even the, in particularly, the unpleasant ones, love, love finding the unpleasant ones. So I've got that now, so enough of a prelude. This is that moment, I'm in now, now I'm into February, and uh, February is the month I'm leaving. Every, every single day that I have now is, la is the last of its sort. Uh, there will be, there will never be a what is this? The third or the fourth of uh, fourth day of February. There will never be a third or fourth day for me again, uh, living in Japan. Even though people don't like to say, they don't like me when I say hear me say that. But I don't. I genuinely don't think I'll be living in Japan unless necessity mandates it. Um, makes it man, ma unless necessity ma makes it a necessity for me to come back. Uh, I have no intention necessarily of, of ever living here again. And so, you wake up every morning now, and you realize that it's kind of, kind of the end. And, and, and that in itself isn't enough. It's also the, um, the, the sense of last-minute preparedness, making sure everything's ready. The, th the thing that keeps floating in my mind is the memory of when I was invited to uh, uh, on an, an, an invitation-only, uh, uh, expert-level spearfishing uh, expedition to which I was truly not qualified. I, I'll make it quick, but I, I had uh, signed up for and attended a spearfishing, a you know, blue water spearfishing uh, seminar with uh, spearfishing legend, California spearfishing legend, Big Jim Christensen. It was a weekend event held down at his apartment in, the, in his pool where he, uh, he taught us the uh, finer arts of uh, big game hunting in the open ocean, in the blue water, the deep ocean water. And um, at the end of that, he invited us to, uh, there was only like Five of us in the class. It's a very, very small community. He invited us to attend his, to join him on an, on an invitation, uh, uh, and, and you know, it was really, these are the really the big shots going out into the, we're heading out to the Farnsworth Bank, which is just an underwater mountain, a hundred miles off the coast. We had to leave the night before and uh, venture out all night. And there's not even an island up. There's just a, a mountain uh, under the sea, and. Um, Anyway, we were going to spearfish out there. And anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on about this. We wound up, because of bad weather, wound up going instead to, I think, San Nicolas Island, which is another remote place off the Channel Islands. And I remember they were going to be, be the kind of spear fishermen we were. We weren't going to park the boat and all of us jump out one together. The boat was going to go along this one, this long stretch of coastline, way the heck out there. <laughs> in this rugged place full of great white sharks and cold, cold, nasty waters and dark. It was scary. It was so scary. And we're not scuba diving. We're free diving. And they would, you know, drop us off the boat and the boat would go on and we were on our own. And uh, each of us alone. No buddies, you know. And uh, remember that moment that I, I, moment, I was one of the first to go off the boat. 
uh, I'd volunteered to do so. And I remember those moments, you know, the, the, the few minutes before before the boat, I was going to jump off on my own and be left to my own devices. And I'm checking my gear, you know, I make sure I've got, make, make sure the, the weight belt's on, on, on property, I make sure I've got my, my prop, my, all my, my gear, the, 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 the knife, the, 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 the spear set up properly, the, the, the snorkel is attached correctly, my fins are on straight, you know, everything is ready. And I'm in this anxiety, I'm about to leave the security of the boat and go into this wilderness. And that's exactly how it feels right now. It's like this last minute checks, you know, is everything okay? Have I got all this stuff together? You know, it's the stuff that I've got to get rid of. I've got to call immigration, I've got to get, call the United States Embassy, talk to them, make, try to make an appointment to talk about uh, this and that and the other thing. You know, talk to the lawyers. All these things, a lot of them don't even require that I'm here to do it, but nevertheless, they're all in my mind. It's that last minute checklist going on. And it's, it, it invokes something of a, something akin to panic a little bit, even even without caffeine. <laughs> and uh, so that's that's what I'm experiencing right now, and it's an uncomfortable experience, definitely. I, I woke up this morning. My wife and I always have a little time in the morning uh, together. We're both kind of busy, but we're we're getting ready for the morning. But I told her I said this is a morning that I wish I could just go back to bed, and uh, and not take this particular one on. It's not because the day is bad or anything like that. It's just. The, the thoughts are, are plentiful and they're not necessarily, uh, uh, they're anxious and, and not necessarily the pleasant type. So let's, let's, we've got that out of the way and that's probably going to continue, probably be an ongoing uh, factor in all of this for the duration. So, so I'm expecting things to be difficult from now through spring. Uh, fun, but also challenging. And I am definitely, definitely not looking forward to being without my family. No. You know, I love being alone. I love I'm a, I, I love the solitary life, but um, I've spent most of my life with uh, this one woman, um, you, Miko, my wife, and uh, uh, half my life with her, more time than with anybody else, my parents or anything like that. And I am I am not relishing this at all, especially being without my daughter. No, no. Gotta, I gotta make sure I can get this immigration stuff going quickly. I'll survive. I'll be okay, but I won't like it. And I'll get there, and it'll be fun. Some things will be fun. It'll be fun to play the bachelor thing and come home and and, and just, just hang out and you know, eat, eat eat my bean cheese burritos that I used to make when I was a bachelor. But that'll wear off quick, and, and I'm gonna miss them right away. <laughs> Today's definitely not. Okay, so what else is going on? And also, I'm cutting. <sighs> Hard. I've got the knife out and I'm cutting through even though I don't have a knife anymore I got rid of it I've got rid of almost all my camping gear I threw away my backpack my, my hiking backpack threw away just about um, my, my, my tent my sleeping bag it's all gone all my camping gear is nearly gone my hiking hiking stuff uh, uh, boots are gonna go soon um, and this is the this is the other hard part is that I have now that the big things are gone all the antiques are gone the shelving is gone a lot of that junk now it's down to the finer stuff I'm, I'm like I said in a in a Facebook post yesterday I'm cutting the I'm cutting flesh from the bone to reveal the uh, the raw skeleton of my existence and uh, and, and then I countered the other night I countered the, the stinking books you know I've got I've got a lifetime you know worth of, of books that I've acquired and I've decided to get rid of those as well. Now there is a place that I can get rid of a lot of them. The local library here has an English uh, uh, section. I'm going, to, I'm going to donate those to them. But a lot of the books they won't want. My old textbooks from college, which um, <clears throat> I've held on to forever, thinking that you know they would be a useful resource. And you know I didn't even I didn't even read them when I was in class. <laughs> so they're going, and they're going to be those things, things like that. I know people are going to get mad at me to say this, but they're going to be burned. I'm going to take them to take them to the dump. There's no real, you know, I don't, I'm not shipping anything to anybody, and uh, it's just, just a line in the sand, and, uh, and uh, I'm, those things are all going to gone. They're all going all gonna to gone. Burn all that stuff. And now I've got, I've got these little boxes set up in the house for like metal items and glass items, because you have to recycle and get them all sorted. And I'm going through my more personal cabinets and such, and getting rid of all stuff. I mean, everything's going. I mean, mem memorabilia, of, uh, I mean, I hate to say it, I mean, even like, even like, well, I won't say it because it'll, 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 it'll touch sensitive to some who might hear it. But even the more personal stuff is going. I said I'm keeping photographs and memories, but not all of them. A lot of them are going as well. And it hurts. It really does. But, uh, and I may be extreme. I am often extreme. And my wife 
and Molly and others have accused me of that. But it is what I am, and I am, I am what I is. <laughs> and I'm going to do this. I'm going to whittle down to that one, ba that one suitcase. If, if, if anything, for the sheer po poetic pleasure of, uh, of, of crossing the ocean with a single suitcase. I'm really looking forward to that. And then hopefully keeping it down to that. I keep harping on that, but it's a, it's, it's a goal. I will have the photographs and memories, and most importantly, of course, my family, which I'll get to join me. Ah, well, that'll be a sweet thing, huh? To get over there with next to nothing and then to endeavor to make, uh, to make hard efforts to uh, bring my most precious uh, uh, connections, my wife and my daughter, back across to be together and to start over again. So there, that's the news. Definitely going to, uh, Monday, it's going to be a hard one. Hard week, hard month, hard season ahead. All relatively speaking, of course. You know, always keeping in mind that there are people out there who haven't. This is, this is not, this is nothing. This is not hard compared to what a lot of people are facing. And, I'm, and I, that's one other thing. When I get back and I get settled, I do want to in the begin, begin of directing my energies and my time and my resources, my money, uh, my, my, my everything towards what I can do to make the world a better place, finding ways to do that, becoming more politically uh, involved and active, trying to, trying, to, trying to use whatever I have to, uh, to patch and mend and build rather than just consume and uh, observe and, uh, and uh, critique. Time to, time to mature a little more. That's it. I'm signing off. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.